Well, hello there, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm in the kitchen as usual, and I'm about to juice, so I decided why not go ahead and record as usual. So let me just tell you a little bit about what I'm doing. As you all know, I am very resourceful, extremely resourceful. All right, so I purchased some collard greens the other day. Some nice baby collard greens. They were like totally awesome. And I sauteed or steamed the collard leaves. Now, y'all know I'm resourceful. I do not throw away anything. These were the stems. So yes, sometimes I do juice the green leafy parts of the collards, but today, I am going to juice the stems as well because, you know, there's healing in the stems too, you know. Unless it's for, you know, presentation or something like that, I remove the stems, but I usually save them and use them, you know, repurpose them this way. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and juice. I hope you guys can see the action here, but I am juicing these collards and yes you can juice you can juice the stems too so this is actually a little fibrous a little woody which is why most people actually remove it you know from their dishes when they're cooking it they remove the stems from the leaves and they always saute the leaves but there's a lot of benefits to the stems I mean if God wanted us to eat it or if he didn't want us to eat it I don't think you would have added the stems onto the plant so that it could grow. So, I am juicing, juicing these beautiful collard stems because nothing goes to waste. And this is my way of nourishing with nature. So that's what I'm doing here. I am nourishing with nature. Now, if you haven't already joined my group, Nourish With Nature, I think this is the time to do it. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, you want to get on over into my group, Nourish With Nature, so you can learn how to heal your body from the inside out. If you are on medications, if you are diabetic, if you have high blood pressure, and your doctor told you that you have to be on medication for the rest of your life, if you're diabetic, they told you you have to be on medication for the rest of your life. If you've just been diagnosed with cancer, and they're telling you that, you know what? You gotta get into chemo right now or else, you know? Cancer isn't developed overnight, just to let you know. It takes a process. By the time they diagnose you with cancer, you're already about eight to 10 years. The cancer is already about eight to 10 years into its growth. So. If that cancer was going to kill you, trust me, you would have been dead already. By the time your mammogram detects your cancer, or detects a cancerous tumor, it was already growing a long time ago because mammograms are not designed to detect tumors when cancer is in its very, very, very early stages. When cancer is in its very early stages, it's about the size of a dot, like a period, you know? When you write with your pencil, that little period, when cancer begins, it's about that size. And what happens is, two little abnormal cells decide that they want to divide. All right, this is called angiogenesis. This is where cancer begins. These two little cells, they decide, okay, you know what? We can't go off of this blood supply anymore, so let's go ahead and create our own. So these two cells divide. And in about the next 200 days, they divide. So that's four, and then the four divides, and that's eight, and it divides, and it divides. Now by the time your mammogram picks that up, it's really big. Your tumor has to be large enough for that mammogram to detect it. And if it's the size of a pencil, a dot, the mammogram can't see it. It won't be able to detect that tumor. So your tumor has to be large enough, and it has to block that mammogram like, here I am, and then your mammogram is able to detect that tumor. So like I said, by the time 
you detect that cancer, it's been growing there a long, long time ago. But you know what? Have no fear. It doesn't mean you're going to die. Even though your team of doctors might be telling you, you know, you have to do chemo right now. Usually when they detect it, that cancer is about stage three or four. That's another reason. If your mammogram can detect your cancer at like stage zero, yay to mammograms, all right? If they can detect it at stage zero, when it's really in its early growth, more power to the mammogram. Find me someone that can tell you that their mammogram detected their tumor in its very, very early stages. I'd love to know who they are. But everyone else that has been detected with cancer is usually stage three and four. That is not early detection, all right? I'm not saying that mammogram doesn't detect it. Mammogram just does not detect your cancer early, all right? So my thing is, why go ahead and try to detect cancer when you can prevent cancer? I'm not trying to go to the doctor to find out if I have cancer because they're going to recommend chemo and chemo, to me, it's poison. I'm not telling you to do the same thing that I do. I'm just letting you know what I would do, all right? So if I were to be diagnosed with cancer, by the way, I am a cancer survivor since 2004. I did have both breasts removed. I detected the cancer. The thing was growing in my breast for about 10 years, and all these years I've been doing mammograms and going to the doctor and doing all this wonderful stuff, and no one detected it. All right, but I decided, you know what? This lump is getting to be, it's enlarged and it's getting too big and I want this darn thing out. So, I went to the doctor and I told them to remove it. Now, I wasn't aware. I didn't know anything about eating from the earth, nourishing with nature. No one taught me all of that, all right? So I used to run to the doctor for everything. If one fingernail grew larger than the next one, trust me, I was at the doctor just like you because I thought they knew everything but now I've gotten aware I'm aware I understand what's going on I've done my own research I'm eating healthy and it's working for me it's working for me all right so I found the tumor I found the the the, the, the lump in my breast and I told them to remove it and they did and they wanted to do a biopsy and I told them I do not want any biopsy all right skip the biopsy because if the biopsy came back good or bad I still needed this lump to get out because I had it for years and it was getting enlarged and I was like look I, I just wanted it out but like I was like you I didn't know any better and I thought the doctors knew everything and they were looking out for my best interest so when they suggested that I do um, I had two options radiation or have both of my breasts removed and I didn't go with the radiation route because for some strange reason uh, it didn't sit well with me I didn't know much about cancer then but it didn't sit well with me so I opted to have both breasts removed because you know what I thought the doctors knew everything all right and I thought that you know they were looking out for my best interest had I known back then what I know now, that I can heal my body from the inside out with earth food, that I can nourish with nature, this is what I'd be doing. I would have never opted to have both of my breasts removed. But anyways, that was since 2004 and I am still here. And this is what I do. I nourish with nature. And um, I created a group for those who are sick and tired of being sick and tired and you know you want to be on you want to try something different than allopathic medicine so this is why I you know I, I, I'm not sure what page you're watching this from if you're on my Angelus Authentic Dishes pages that's wonderful I do this all the time on this page if you're watching me from YouTube uh, Facebook um, come on over if you are ready to uh, come on over to my new group nourish with nature if you're ready to you know become the CEO of your health if you'd like to try something new if you're sick and tired of your medications come on over this is what we are doing Angelus's authentic dishes is mostly about food you know you guys know I'm a chef I'm a certified chef and that's how I started the page you know showing my food and 
cooking my food and sharing my food and everything with you guys, but um, I realized there's healing in the food, and I started sharing all the benefits of, you know, everything that's healing. So, you guys are familiar with that. So, Nourish with Nature is a new page that I designed with a holistic approach where you can use foods from nature, like these apples, and heal your body from the inside out. It's designed with a holistic approach using nutrition and the lifestyle. So it's not just about the food. So I'll be doing different things over there, um, you know, educating you, and you guys will also be educating me as well. All right? So it's going to be very inspiring, very educational. So if that is what you are into, come on over. Come on over. This is an apple that my grandbaby was eating. This is like a half an apple. I'm adding it to the collars to give it, you know, just a little oomph. Let me see this here. Let me see if I can. This is a little too woody. Sometimes what I do, when I juice, if it's not woody, I will add, you know, use the, the trash, as my son would call it, to bake cakes, or I would add it into a salad, you know, if it's not too woody. So I'm not going to use that because that is a bit woody. Let me use, and look, let me show you. All those stems, see that? Collard stems. That's all that this was, collard green stems. Look at all that juice. Now, knock your socks off. If this is how you like to eat, you can add other stuff to it, but I'm just doing this for me right now because this has become such an habitual part of my life. This is what I do, all right? So I make juices. I create all types of juice blends. Now, I want this thing to come through.